What's up everybody? Have you ever wondered what the best state to live in is? Between crime rates going up and real estate costs going up all across the United States, there are a lot of families looking for a safe and affordable place to live. With that in mind, I looked at several different lists from different sources on the best state rankings. And I found this one for Moving Waldo was the best because they kept it simple. They focused on quality of life, safety, and access to amenities. To see how they measure each of these qualities as well as the sources for all of their numbers on the cost of living indexes, check out the link in the description. So in the end, they compiled this list of the top 10 best states to live in in the United States that have low crime rates, an affordable housing market, and offer an outstanding quality of life. So let's see if you agree. Each one has its own speciality and I'll chime in with some really fun facts. Let's dive right in. We'll start at number 10 and we'll work our way up. Number 10, Washington State. Population 7.7 .7 million and the average monthly cost of living $2,200. Washington State is known for its beautiful scenery, geological diversity, ranging from mountains to deserts, rainforests, and a Pacific coastline. Moving Waldo recognizes it for its family friendly aspects, including safe cities and neighborhoods, excellent schools, ample green spaces, great food, and a lot of kid friendly fun. It's also the birthplace of Starbucks Coffee, the Boeing Company, Company and Microsoft Corporation. Washington ranks as the ninth state with the most educated people in the country and boasts active music, art, food, sports, and theater scenes. Fun fact, Washington is the only state named after a president and is responsible for 70% of the country's apple. Who knew? US News and World Report ranked Washington as their number one best state in the country. Number nine, Alabama. Population 5.04 million, average monthly cost of living, $1,758. So this was interesting because I haven't actually seen Alabama on any of the other top 10 lists when I was doing my research. In fact, US News and World Report ranks Alabama 46 out of 50. So let's see why Moving Waldo is ranking at number nine. They prioritize Alabama's affordability factor as it is one of the cheapest states to live in with a cost of living index of 87.5. The average price for a home in Alabama is $216,108, while renting an apartment costs approximately $807 a month. You also have warm weather and rich culture, especially when it comes to football. Alabamians have a lot of outdoor activities ranging from hiking to lakeside activities to a lot of beaches and coastline and golf courses. Alabama's role at the center of the civil rights movement, coupled with its ongoing traditional college football culture, lends a more colorful and sometimes painful history than most. Fun fact, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, home to Space Camp, is located in Huntsville, Alabama. Number eight, North Dakota. Population 775,000, average monthly cost of living $1,608. North Dakota has stunning parks, a healthy environment, and a strong sense of community. Nearly 90% of the land in North Dakota is devoted to farming, and the state provides more than 90% of the country's canola and flaxseed. Moving Waldo cites North Dakota as an overall low-tax state that is affordable and good for retirees, as the residents here are welcoming and friendly. You can find rent for as low as $818 a month, and the median home value is $285 $5,107. U.S. News and World Report ranked North Dakota number 14. Fun fact, Native Americans inhabited this land way before the white settlers, so the word Dakota is Sioux for friend. Number seven, New Jersey. Population 9.3 million, average monthly cost of living $2,031. New Jersey has a great educational system, world-class healthcare system, great theaters, sports, culture, and breathtaking beaches, making it one of the best states in the country to live in. More than 5,000 information and technology companies are based in New Jersey, including Verizon. The state is also a leader in pharmaceutical and biotechnical industries. Moving Waldo cites New Jersey as a very safe state with an average of 195 Point four violent crimes committed per 100,000 residents, which is 51.6% lower
lower than the average rate in the United States. U.S. News and World Report ranks New Jersey number 19. Fun fact, New Jersey is the home of native musical legends like Bruce Springsteen, John Bon Jovi, Frank Sinatra, and Whitney Houston. Number six, Massachusetts. Population 7 million, average monthly cost of living $2,233. Massachusetts is known for its high quality of life, high safety, and high education level. It is indeed the most educated state of all the 50 states and is home to a distinguished network of intellectuals with more than 50 colleges and universities, including the world-renowned Harvard University and MIT. You also have picturesque beaches at Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. The crime rate is low compared to other states, 33% below the national average, and the state offers great public and hospital per capita services, which means excellent quality of life for your family. U.S. News & World Report ranked Massachusetts number nine. Fun fact, Massachusetts was the first state to legalize gay marriage. Number five, Virginia. Population 8.6 million, average monthly cost of living $2,030. Virginia is dripping in Southern hospitality, superior education, diverse culture, and a booming economy. Moving Waldos cites Virginia as one of the best states to retire in, given the amazing tax benefits Virginia has to offer, especially for retirees. First, the state has one of the lowest overall tax rates in the country. Secondly, many retirees flock to Virginia because of its affordability, low crime rate, and suitable housing. You also have access to many amazing beaches throughout the state, which are never too far away, regardless of where you live. U.S. News & World Report ranks Virginia number seven. Fun fact, Virginia boasts over 300 wineries and is home to numerous award-winning wines. Number four, Connecticut. Population 3.6 million, average monthly cost of living $2,098. Connecticut residents enjoy high living standards with incredibly well-developed and maintained cities, recreational parks, and transportation systems throughout the state. Connecticut is one of the safest cities in America, as it is 53% safer than the national average. The colonial-style towns in Connecticut make clusters of serene, quiet places to live with minimal traffic and a soothing atmosphere. The emergence of digital media had a huge impact on Connecticut's economy with more than 1,200 digital media-related companies located in the state. U.S. News & World Report ranks Connecticut number 20. Fun fact, Connecticut was one of the first to introduce the railroad, and today Amtrak connects Boston and Washington, D.C. with part of the original mainline of New Haven, the most prominent railway service of the 1800s. Number three, Vermont. Population 645,000, average monthly cost of living 1,965. Stunning mountain views, less pollution, mesmerizing lake, and an array of outdoor activities, including skiing and hiking and sailing, are just a few of the reasons Vermont is one of the best states to live in in the United States. Vermont is also a relatively affordable state compared to the other top three, as the median home price is around $295,000. Vermont is 70.1% safer than most of America, with a crime rate of 118 per 100 thousand residents, according to the FBI. Furthermore, it has a 27% lower property crime rate than the U.S. average. U.S. News & World Report ranks Vermont number 11. Fun fact, Vermont leads the nation in maple syrup production, but I'm sure that's no surprise, and Ben & Jerry's was started here. Number two, Utah. Population 3.3 million, average monthly cost of living $3,114. Utah is great for the outdoor enthusiast as it offers so many outdoor outdoor activities, such as skiing on the mountains near Salt Lake City, collecting an average of 500 inches of snow per year during the winter months. One of the striking things about retiring in Utah is that the state has no personal income tax, so your retirement savings will go a lot further. The state also ranks 11th in education across the country with a low crime rate. Housing, rent, and home prices in Utah are approximately $1,651 and $493,000 respectively. U.S. News & World Report ranked Utah number three. Fun fact, Utah has the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. It's also home to the Sundance Film Festival, one of the biggest independent film festivals in the
the world. And the number one best day to live in in the country right now, according to movingwaldo.com, is New Hampshire. Population 1.4 million, average monthly cost of living $4,313. New Hampshire is perfect for any lifestyle, from vibrant cities to coastal views, and is great for outdoor loving families with skiing and rock climbing, camping, snowboarding, and other winter related sports. New Hampshire is regarded regarded as one of the most tax friendly states as residents are not subject to income taxes, sales taxes, or social security taxes. The median home price in New Hampshire is about $381,000. New Hampshire is also considered one of the safest states in the country. The rate of violent crime in New Hampshire is 152.5 cases per 100,000 residents. According to this data, New Hampshire is 50% safer than the national average. U.S. News and World Report ranked New Hampshire number four. Fun fact, Although New Hampshire does play a pivotal role in our president election, since the year 2000, none of the primary winners have made it to the White House. So there you have it. Moving Waldo's list of the top 10 best states to live in in 2023. And if you want more information on how they made this list, or if you want to know any of their sources, definitely click the link below in the description. So do any of you guys live in any of these states or are you thinking about moving to them? I don't know, New Hampshire is sounding pretty good. If you do live in any of them and they are really good to live in, comment below and tell us where you live. Or if you're thinking about moving to one of them, definitely let us know where you're moving to. And if you're thinking about Virginia and you'd like our help, just send us an email, we'll set up a Zoom, We'll get you started. If you want to see the list for the top 10 most affordable states, check out this next video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye.